upstairs under Rosenthal to get together with a different person in the Assembly of the Senate Bill. We want to merge the two bills. So this is part of a long-term campaign. And we're going to actually move to Charles Schumer's next week, because we're stuck with him, right? But we're going to go to the Democratic Party club that she's part of. What club is that? I don't know. We could find out. It's a West Side Democratic Party club. And, you know, we're going to bring it up from the audience. We're going to, like, have people chase after her and try to do an interview. We're going to stage an interview and get her on video. And we're going to open talks with the Drug Policy Alliance. Cassandra Frederick, the head of the Drug Policy Alliance, was a keynote speaker in psychedelic science. But she's still really actually very reluctant to do anything about psychedelics. She's really tight with Linda. She tells Linda what to do. You know, all these people tell Linda what to do. Linda does what the people tell her what to do. You understand? So she starts getting a lot of other feedback saying, do this other thing because nothing else works for fentanyl and hundreds of thousands of people are dying. She'll have to do it. Good. Alright, so what you got? Wait, let me ask you a question. So, what you got? Uh, I know, I don't know, have a rally or not? What's gonna happen? So, what you gotta say to Lynn Rosenthal right now? What? What you gotta say to Lynn Rosenthal? What you gotta say to her right now? Uh, all we wanna do is go back to work on the bill. We just want a meeting. We just want a meeting. All we're trying to do, being out here, is get you to be with us. I think her office open right now, by the way. Huh? Her office open right now. She's not there. Oh, she's not? She's gonna dodge the meeting. She's got somebody up there, chief of staff, who's. Really treating me like a stalker. I'm not a stalker. I'm from ACT UP. I'm from NAS College. I'm not a stalker, so. I'm sorry, I know when I'm being treated like a stalker. They give the, uh, they give the, the photo to the, the uh, desk downstairs, and you're banned from the building. That happened eight years ago at the Drug Policy Alliance. We're trying to get a meeting with the head of the Drug Policy Alliance, Cassandra Frederick, as I just explained. So, um, they got to get over this thing of treating us as stalkers. You know, it's very rude to political activists. It's like saying, you know, Donald Trump said all the Black Lives Matter uh, protesters were terrorists. And he had the uh, Homeland Security going after them as terrorists. It's really rude. What's it? Can you tell me, what is the difference between a terrorist and someone, a terrorist and a um, stalker? What's the difference between a terrorist and a stalker? There is no difference. Well, yeah, you're right. There is no difference. Just one is effective and can really cause trouble, and the other is a homeless bum who can sleep on the street. But you're still like disempowering people. We won't deal with your politics leaving you no recourse. Nothing you can do. So let me ask you a question. Why are we here today? What is this what is Ivy Game about? Ivy Game is a drug from Africa. Comes from a sacred plant. Gets people off of coke, dope, and speed overnight. We're in the middle of a fentanyl epidemic. All conventional approaches are overwhelmed. We have to try something new. So how would I begin help with fentanyl? Well, there's nothing that works to get people off fentanyl. You know, they can put people on Suboxone, but Suboxone is extremely addictive too. So the point is, you have to put people on morphine for about three weeks, and then you can treat them with IV. Then put them on short active opiate. Fentanyl is extremely difficult to get people off. But we can do it. It just takes a little longer. But how does, does IV gain help? If, I'm, if someone is overdosing ODing on fentanyl, right, how can I begin help? No, but you got to get that person Narcan. Narcan? Narcan is the same as Suboxone, which okay. is the long-term thing they put you on. You so how does I begin help? I begin isn't like either of those. It's a other thing. It's right. a nerve growth promoter. It has three short-acting effects. It has... Ecstasy effect, not the ecstasy effect. Uh, it, it, it has the kappa opiate, which is like salvia, which is against 
tolerance. It has the anti-withdrawal effect of ketamine, special K. And it has um, uh, this anti-craving effect, like Wellbutrin. That stops the addiction right there. Where do you go from there? Ibogaine uses the serotonin transporter as a receptor. When it does that, it raises our serotonin level for three months. So you're walking around an ibogaine flow for three months. And it switches on green nerve growth factors so that you rebuild the, the neurons completely. They said in the vets that had traumatic brain injury, the brains were a year and a half younger after I did Thank you for that, David. So, let me ask this guy a question. Yeah, I know. So it's just only you're only two out here. Uh, me one second. Uh, well, to get done. More people come. I know, but let me ask you to this question. Uh, let me ask you this question. So, how you feel about if people start saying that uh, this cause is not a wise to fight for? How will you feel that people start saying that this cause is not wise to fight for? That Linda trying to appease her constituents. That what? Linda trying to appease her constituents. Linda. She's trying to appease her constituents. We're going to the Democratic Party uh, club. Yeah, because the I think mostly they're against don't it. Know. They don't know. I mean, they don't they, know. Nobody knows. The, I mean, the West Side Democrats, you think they don't know, or they don't know. It, is they it? Don't know what's going on. They don't know what's going on. All right. So how you feel? How you think uh, they might say that? Well, you guys are fighting for the wrong thing. You guys should fight for other things. Well, how you respond to that? There's another. There's well, another group that is using the fentanyl crisis to promote uh, overdose yeah. prevention. Yeah. You know them? No, I don't know they're the other. They're called Vocal. Yeah. And they're connected to with the Drug Policy Alliance, which I mentioned. Yeah. And they say basically to us. Overdose prevention, safe supply, cool. Rehab that works, uncool. And we have, we say rehab that works. You gotta have rehab that works. Right now we have no drug rehab that works. Drug rehab is 95% relax rate. That is not rehab that works. You need something that's at least 50%. Yeah. That's I begin. Cool. Thank you. So we're still out here outside Leonard Rudolph's office. Uh, so it's only like, but she won't. Allegedly, she won't let you. She won't talk to you. Allegedly, she won't talk to you. Allegedly. Well, no, I can go up there. I know Donna. I can talk to the community affairs person. But the person who has to call me. Yeah. Is Nick Giles. Mm-hmm. The bill draft. The guy who actually writes the legislation, and he hasn't called me back. Wow. So we'll just, you know, keep working away until he calls me. He got some negative feedback from another guy who just wanted to legalize magic mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And that's a powerful thing, right? Now. Yeah. And he's saying, legalize magic mushrooms before you legalize what, the cure for fentanyl. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we like magic mushrooms, and we like the magic mushroom ceremony, and the magic mushrooms are a great high. Yeah. So, a few more people come here, or what? Um, I don't know. Uh, like, we're moving to Schumer's next week. I think we're going to have more people like that. All right, cool. They, they just passed something for the Defense Authorization Act, and AOC and Crenshaw, Congressman I. Patchell, Republicans, got together on it. And it was struck from the bill because it was unfunded. Right? Yeah. So, we have a really uh, short solution that doesn't depend on funding. And what it is, is a one line joint resolution of the members yeah. that says it is the sense of the Senate and the House of Representatives that Ibogaine has zero abuse potential. Mm -hmm. Now, if it has zero abuse potential, it can't be in the Controlled Substances Act. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So we just want that to pass, and then it automatically gets kicked out. But Schumer's guy, uh, whose name is Dilly, right, said, no, first you have, a thing, have to have a phase three trial or we won't touch it. Well, what are the chances that people will pay for a phase three trial for uh, a drug that comes from a rainforest plant that nobody can own? 
Yeah. In other words, get lost is what he told us. Mm -hmm. We're going to go back to Schumer's and have a couple of protests because this just went to the Senate. It was uh, struck off the bill, the Defense Authorization Act. Yeah. But Schumer can go can still introduce this as uh, a resolution. It'll pass right away. He's the head of the fucking uh, Senate. Yeah. I think for a joint resolution, you don't need that form. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Let me go on this. What's your name, by the way? My name is Christopher. I saw it through last week. He gave me this guy. He gave me the paper last week. I was covering a poker rally about the old way, uh, about the Trump present like the overdose centers. Yeah. So he gave me a paper before I left. So I was like, if I didn't get it, I wouldn't have been here. I wouldn't know what it was about. What do you think of this? I really can't take a, a, a opinion about that because I'm media right. I'm doing I'm my press pass right now, by the way, in my press pass. So I can't take a real opinion about this. I'm, I'm just here to cover your event. That's it. I'm just here to cover your event. That's it. Here to cover you guys. That's it. I'm here to cover you guys. That's it. You know? Uh -huh. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm just interested in your impression of, you see, because you go to demonstrations, right? Yeah, I go to a lot of them. A lot of them. I lost How count. do you think the demonstration was? It was not bad. Last week it wasn't bad. Last week it wasn't bad. It was a pretty credible, pretty credible demonstration. Yeah, it was. It was short, but sure. punchy. Yeah. That's what they, that's what they, so had, they, had, they had way more people than we have here. Yeah, because they, they, they must come out. They get a lot of members. They members everywhere. Yeah. That would make them so. That would make them so influential because they they be out there even when the media's not out there. Like you guys, you guys come out here when the media's not out here. I give you guys that because there some people don't even come out do rallies unless the big time media come out. Unless like with a camera come out, like ABC, CBS, NBC, NBC, and all those other channels. Local New York doesn't even when the media come out. The media, I think they came out, but it wasn't like no, they didn't have I knew they come in, but they, they come out they anyway. There, they were there to preach to the choir. So what it is, you know what I mean? We have that woman Tony and that woman uh, Jasmine so, giving speeches. Tony's from the Drug Policy Alliance. Yeah. Okay. And when you go to Juwanza, you know Juwanza Williams? Yeah, that got blocked. Yeah, we have yeah, we, we have beat because I called out his boy. I called out his boy, um, Douglas Powell. Douglas. But we actually have a different story. I know Juwanza. You know what he said? He said, you we, we, it's above our freight. Hey, Greg, we can't make this decision. You have to go to the drug policy lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm blaming you. He's like that. Well, will we have to pick at the drug policy lines? That's what we got to do because our, that's how Vocal got powerful. They don't like something, they go out picking it. Huh? Vocal did that. That's how Vocal got powerful. Vocal didn't like something, they go out picking it. So you got to do the same thing Vocal does. I just tell people to copy. I mean, that's my thing. That's, that's actually why I'm doing this. The people don't understand that doesn't mean you're fighting them. You're just drawing attention. Yeah. I told that to people last night. On Zoom. You're just drawing attention. On Zoom. I yeah. mean, you're even even three of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's three. It, it has a psychological effect upstairs because we've been dealing with this woman for three years. Yeah. And we never did. We never got to this point until we Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looked very good. You're right. So let me go talk to the other two. All right, let me talk to the other two so they they about. So what you two got to say about this? About you got to be more specific, brother. About about, about this rally, about why y'all are here for. Yeah, I don't have. I mean, for me, the rally is important because I have a lot of friends and family out there. We all do all across the world. You know, um, dying from opiate overdose. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm here to make sure that this individual, these individuals get the support they need. Yeah. Because that's, first of all, that's Dana over there, right? Yeah. That's Dana Bill. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. The Grogan protested since the 60s. You know, that's, he, he's the reason why we're able to have legalized cannabis today. He used to throw those parades back in the heyday parades mm -hmm. down at the 14th Street. May Day was called, heyday. He did that by himself with his cohort when it was illegal to do so. So now it's legal, everybody running around, smoking weed, going to these little parties, having fun. Where y'all at for this protest? There's only three of us out here today. But the parties be stacked out, bro. Yeah. These parties be stacked out. But everybody want to sit there and party and, 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 and BS. I ain't going to curse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to party and BS. But when the real work is being done, where y'all at, man? Yeah. Y'all want to help me put together events? Cool. Y'all want to help me plan events? Cool. You want to help me procure some great premium flour? I'm cool with all of that. 
But we are at when the real work need to be done, bro. Like, if it wasn't for this man giving up 40 years of his life, we wouldn't be here. He did 40 years in the feds for cannabis. This whole joint should be stacked out like one of them parties, man. Yeah. But it ain't. There's three of us. So that's how I feel about that. I'm going to see you at the next party. All right. All right. Yeah, thank you. So I think that's it for now. I'm about to go. They're still out here protesting. They're right to protest. You know, so I'm about to be done. I'm about to go somewhere else. So thank you. Take care, guys. Thank you for coming through, man. Hey, no problem, you. man. Anytime. I'm expecting a better turnout, but... Obviously, smoking weed is more important than protesting. Yeah. There's a rhythm to this. I noticed it last week, you know, so basically, you got to. Where are we going next week? We're going to 49th and 3rd Avenue, the same place we mentioned last week. We're going to 49th and 3rd Avenue next week. At what time? Perfect. You heard from my big bro. He got more information on Now y'all see why I follow the leaders. No, it's just I don't know what I mean. You know what I mean. Do what you want. I want to be here. Yeah, you want to be here for the cause because, you know, we kind of already got weed. And we want more than weed. Weed wasn't all we wanted. I hate to disappoint you, because some of us are not only about only smoking weed. Though I smoke weed all the time. I also drink coffee. It isn't necessary to have a booth. Alright, thank so, you. Yeah. Big bro. You shouldn't have needed a chance. movement for weed. Take my email and send that stuff to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I put it on Twitter right now. I, I sent you uh, yeah, your phone. I'll send you your phone on Twitter. I'll send you your phone. That's what's up. I'll send you the link to your phone, all right? Send it to my Twitter account, too. All right, but what's the Twitter account? Um, at King Gregory 444. Four. One there. second. All right, cool. Make sure. All right, cool, right? Thank God you make the videos. One second. One second. King. Wait, 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 wait. Give me one second. Put it here. Come on, let's go. King Gregory. Wait, 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 wait. This is, the phone is kind of slow. Sucks. So. Oh, we got another one. What's up, big bro? Oh, shoot. Welcome to New York. Yeah, y'all ain't even know, man. We got Tate Diggs on the set. Tate Diggs came to show us some love and hold us down. Good luck, Tate. See, there's, there's more people. They, they, they also need people are gotcha. late. Gotcha. You know, they're just late. You know, I, was, I was late last week. Because I had to do something with the main. And I missed the bus. Miss the bus, and it's something you'll never ever do again, bro. Well, no, I'll miss the bus again. Wow, that's, that's, a, that's a whole song. That was a Chris Cross. Yeah, it was a Chris Cross. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's before your time, man. Which sign do you want? This one or this one? Ivan Dan Cole. Do you see that one? Bring up your. Yo, thanks for coming through, brother. Yeah. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, it's really important. Wow. Thank you. You know, next week, we're going to move. Yeah. We're going to move to shoot. I got to wait till all the way to 4 o'clock. Burning up now. I was going to tell you, get one of those little plastic soup thingies. Put your soup in. Yeah. 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 But you see me? I'm out here dressed like a construction worker. Hey, there's our flip guy. There. Right? Yeah, the guy with the bike. Why you said five like that's what we should expect Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I tagged you. You got like some sandwiches and lions, right? Yeah, we get a chance. What up, bro? He asked him, he asked him, like, uh, Jim was playing the WF. Oh, last year, he's only had five. Yeah. So, grab five now. Hmm? Actually, we should more have eight. We should have 13. Yeah. It's not bad at all. I get game from that.
Joe. Get a sign. That's a guy I've been working with since 1974. Yeah. You got like a petition people to sign? Uh. Because it's not because if, if people want to support it, they're going to need to sign up with an email, phone number, well, what, what, and a name. Yeah, but what, what I can do, we're not taking, okay. not signing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, right. You need a petition. You need a petition. Because yeah. 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 oh. everybody that can't join us today might maybe join us at a later point. Oh, wow. We got six people. At least we get, but at least we get names. Oh, that's big six. Say, Avia, get a sign. Okay. We don't want him to have to hold two. I say it takes a long time to get a heart attack from them. Uh -huh. But you die right away from them. I'll put it So what does Ibogaine do for that? Well, the thing is it knocks both out. You see, there's nothing at this time for meth at all except smoking cessation therapy, which doesn't work. Thank you for sharing that, big brother. Hi, Vera. Hi. Which one you want?
have a flyers pass out to you? No, no Ren has it all. Yeah, yeah, this is not well organized. Oh, so now, thank you. I bought you one. Bro, I bought you one. Help me. Help me, sis. Help me, bro. Let me get tissues.